I do the best I can here. Um, I feel the shelters come a long way. I have a really good staff. It just made me an all around better person, more passionate about uh, animals for sure. My name is Wendy Combs, and I'm the shelter manager for the Nunatoway Humane Society. Uh, we are a nonprofit animal shelter. We do um, animal intakes through owner releases, uh, strays. We do animal control for um, several little small towns in Nottoway County, as well as Maryville. I started part-time as a dog cleaner, just needed a little bit of extra cash, and um, started in 2014, took over the manager job in 2015, and I've been here ever since. So just a part-time gig turned into a full-time career. Currently, I have around 32 dogs and about 30 cats, which is actually low. The highest number I've ever had uh, cat-wise is like 110, and then dog-wise we can hold like 60. 90 percent is probably strays, um, but we do have a lot of owner releases as well. Um, and we get them from everywhere. Um, we, we try to limit to like Nottoway County intake, um, but we do get them from everywhere. I just had a cat the other day brought in from Wathena, Kansas, so somebody wanted to own or release it to us because we're a no-kill facility. An owner release, um, somebody that for some reason can't keep their animal anymore, uh, could be uh, they're moving. Animal doesn't get along with another animal, they didn't test it out or something. Um, sometimes you have those animals that their owners passed away and none of the family members want to take the animal on. So it just kind of depends on, you know, there's so many different reasons why they actually own a release. And, and we're what they call low kill, no kill. And what that is, is we don't do it unless the quality of life is gone. Um, if a vet says that there is no chance, like it's been hit by a car or something, and there's no chance that we can make it better, um, or it's super aggressive to the point we can't rehabilitate it, then we may have to euthanize, but that is very, very rare. Uh, it is very important, no-kill shelters. I, I would love to see the, the whole, you know, United States be no-kill, but you know, we do have, there are a lot of animals and there are a lot of irresponsible people, and that's why. Um, my, my passion and my drive for animals um, because I see things all over you know the country and it makes you think how lucky we are here um, but it makes me definitely want to help everybody and I can't um, which kind of sucks. Uh, one of our board members does pause at the pub every month um, where people can go to the pub and take their dog and have a drink and just kind of hang out. Um, and we've been doing that for over a year. It's not a real money maker. It's more for the, the community socialization of dogs. Yeah, just getting the animals out there, getting our name out there. Um, not just adopting animals out into the community, but that does help as well. Volunteers are huge. Um, Last year we had a little over almost 2,900 hours for volunteer hours. Uh, the number of people is probably a good amount too. Every day we can have anywhere from one volunteer to 50. The university is a big one. Sororities and fraternities um, doing their service hours. They come in here and, and what, what better to hang out with a cat or you know go take a dog for a walk. If you're stressed out or something from finals or whatever it may be. Uh, even younger kids, we have on Wednesdays especially, I have some high school girls that come in and they hang out with animals. Um, they just enjoy that time with them because they may not be able to have animals at home, and but they can come here and hang out with animals and then go home. Kind of makes you feel good. I'm Madeline Horstman. I'm a freshman at Northwest and I help out at the Humane Society. So I came in here and I met Malaya and really liked him and I sent the pictures to my dad and he liked him as much as I did. From there we filled out an application and then I came in and picked him up and 
brought him home and we renamed him Bobby after Bobby the Bearcat. And he was really good in the car. We drove five hours back home to St. Louis and he's adjusting really well. Adopting, um, we don't let just anybody get an animal, you know. Uh, we have a process, you fill out an application. I like for you to come in, meet the animals, um, not just make a decision right then. Uh, meet your match, make sure you're finding the right animal for you. Uh, if you have other animals, we require you to bring their, you know, the, the dog in and um, meet, make sure they're gonna get along. We do home visits um, if it's in like the, the area around here. Um, just because we want to make sure they're going into a, a home that will be the best fit for them.